All right, back at the Shrine of Amana. All right, so we've got those Curse Frogs that have come back now. Uh, because we did rest at the bonfire, so we will make sure we take care of them. That one hit me, which is bullshit. These two will go down pretty quickly. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that I stand on some obvious ground. There's rock here, which is pretty obvious. And we've got this dude back at the door. Um, I'm going to wait for him to come out a little bit so I can get behind him. He's got a spear, so his attacks are pretty linear. That's the wonderful thing about enemies with spears, is their attacks tend to be um, pretty straight. In this game, they sometimes swing the spear, but most of the time they'll uh, do an overhead swing or a stab or a lunge or something like that. What is it with elevators in this fucking game? Oh, that was a long ass elevator. Okay, so. Just thinking of what's coming ahead. Ah, oh, that's right. Alright, before we light this bonfire, I want to see if there's anything under here. Try attacking. I, I don't know why I fall for that shit every fucking time. I honestly. I don't think you can break down that wall. Maybe... No, I don't think you can. Ah, oh, wonderful. You again. That was the second time we've seen that talkative bastard. And he tells us that King Vendrick is nearby, so I want to light the bonfire. Don't make the mistake of running through here without turning this bastard on, because it's very easy to talk to that shithead and walk straight past. And, um, you don't want to have to keep running back and forth through this area. Uh, so, I just want one of those. Go first, I guess. Alright. Other guy's not following me, which is good. Just gonna hug this side here. Clean him up. Pick that up. What's that? Monastery charm. Awesome. Alright, he's dead. Mindful. Now this thing won't attack you. He's just a dude carrying a torch. Oh shit, that's right. Alright, so this... is a big dude with a shield. I don't think I can backstab him. Whatever, he's dead. So we have this uh, undead with the torch. Oh shit. So these things are doing the same thing. Maybe I should use some more powerful arrows. What have I got? Uh, let's just use some magic arrows to see how they work. Yep, hell yeah, that's wicked. That's what I wanted. So we're waiting on the next cycle. 
Also, that's one dead. So now I only have to retreat half as much. I can get three arrows off, dodge. Wait for my summoner to come back, probably get two arrows off. I don't know, another three will be okay. Dodge. And this should be two arrows. Wonderful. Alright, that's that. Um, so those guys do like some form of dark magic, and that dark magic um, generally hits through shields. Now you don't have to kill these guys. I do. Fucker! See? Like that. That's why. Look. What? Try attacking. Watch. Always fall for it. Um, who's this? Devotee Scarlet. Perhaps in a moment. Alright. So we have this uh, little dude kind of following us, but this is interesting, this part. Merchant ahead. Now, unfortunately, we want to kill him now. And pick up his torch. He doesn't drop a torch. He's just got tattoos and scars or whatever all over him. Uh, there's a reason for this, and I'll show you why in just a second. When we come up these stairs... So, every single thing that has light or produces light within this place uh, is unwanted. If I was to come in here with a torch, all of these guys would attack me. If I was to attack them, they'd all attack me as well. Unfortunately, uh, that little dude who was following me does technically count as my minion, so he will produce light and then these enemies will attack me. I don't want that. Because I want to talk to this guy here who just talks to me about how he's... Uh, we weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me. Countless souls rest here. Some are rich, others poor. Did you come for him? You will find him. Many castles, sir, but they rest here now. Perhaps he's not in the mood for company. In the past, the former king of light, he feared human. Oh, this guy can talk. How queer you. This place is welcome to all, Brother. death is equitable, accepting, we will all, tell me what you desire. Alright, uh, learn gesture. Don't really care about it, but we'll uh, learn the gesture. Ring of Thorns plus one, don't really need. There's dark arrows here and dark bolts, which I don't really need. Human effigies and Elizabethan mushrooms, which I don't really need. Um, I'm not a sorcerer, so unfortunately there's not really... Anything here that I that I need or could use. Um, otherwise, I would pick up Soul Spear for sure. I might re-roll to Sorcery. No idea. But for now, uh, we're just going to exit this little area here. We definitely, once again, don't want to produce light. Because that's not what um, these dudes want. Uh, unfortunately, as well, because... Uh, beware of Torch, then enemy. So, we don't want to produce light just yet. It's not too dark that we're worrying. But it's dark enough. Now, this area. Is a big pain. So, I'm just going to light the bonfire here. So, this room right here. Um, has some tombstones in the corners. The interesting thing about the tombstones is that uh, if a bell is rung, enemies will spawn from those tombstones. So the best course of action in this room is to either um, kill the NPC that will ring the bell or destroy the tombstones. Now I believe that when you destroy the tombstones... Um, they don't respawn. But we'll see. Let's let's just rest at the bonfire really quickly. And have a look. Nope, tombstone's destroyed. Awesome. Oh 
want to get rid of these skeletons first. Wait for my energy to come back up. Okay. Five shots does the trick for that. Alright, someone's rung the bell, which is a problem because now if um, there are any of those tombstones still left alive, they'll spawn all those spirits. And those spirits are really, really, really annoying to deal with. So we kind of plan our way around here. Um, it's the least you can do for yourself to make sure that you aren't uh, overwhelmed. There's an arse load of bells down here and there's one more of these. So five shots does the trick. And then we can kill this spirit. Um, yeah, it's, it doesn't hurt to kind of take things a little slower. There is a ghost that'll appear in the wall just here, so we'll take care of him. Before picking up this smooth and silky stone, we want to pick this up here. So this area has now been cleansed of those tombstones. I don't have to worry about, uh, all of that shit popping up. However, this room... One, two, three, four, five. And we gotta try to hit our way to get back out of here. Because there is a flame sorceress up the top there. Or, no, a dark sorceress up the top there. Um, who will absolutely destroy us with her magic. So, what we can do is... A bell was rung, just... Um, I don't think we have to worry too much. And the reason why I don't think we have to worry too much is because um, we have destroyed most of the tombstones. We have a skeleton here which we'll just kill. That's the bitch right there. I'm pretty sure there's another way to get to her, but I can't really remember how. Is there a ladder or something here? Yeah, there it is. Oh, you fuck. Awesome. Okay. Um, just double checking this area. Yeah, there's one more of those. One, two, three, four, five. Just gonna dodge that because we don't want to mess with it. Awesome. There we are. So there's no more tombstones in this area, which means this uh, whole area becomes a lot less uh, dangerous. We've got a bracing knuckle plus two, which uh, increases the decrease of our item degradation definitely want to use that given the fact that we use uh, rapiers as they're quite weak. Okay, I'm going to use another life gem, pop myself back at the bonfire and reset. Um, I won't sit at the bonfire, I haven't used any SS flash shards and I don't want to respawn all the skeletons and that uh, witch lady that is up there. <laughs> 